Hi guys, so I promised you I'd be doing a Q&A vlog in the build up to the Kissing Booth movie which is like this Friday and you can add it to your Netflix list now. Go watch the trailer on YouTube which has got like a crazy amount of views now, it's absolutely insane. Loads of you have been sending me questions on Wattpad, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I had so many on Instagram, I wasn't expecting that one. If I didn't get around to answering yours, I'm very sorry, there were quite a lot of questions came in, like way more than I expected, I thought I might get like Five. I'm anticipating this might be quite a long video, so let's crack on. I still have like no confidence in my writing. Did you have any input about casting for the characters and what was your favourite moment on set? I did not have any input to casting the characters, but I couldn't have asked for a better cast. And favourite moment from set, oh my god, so many, so many. Okay, I'm gonna pick the like one of the first moments on set where I got like actually saw it all happening and all these people were around because of something that I'd done when I was like 15, 16, and then they sort of wrapped up the scene they were filming for a little bit for a break and Joey and Joel just came up to me and they were like you're Beth right you're the writer and I was like oh, it's happening <laughs> what was it like making TKB movie it was insane what scene were you most looking forward to bring to life on the big screen the kissing booth definitely like the moment where there is the kissing booth I mean come on that's where it all started are you happy with how it all turned out is there much different to the book uh at the time of filming have not seen Watching it later today, actually. <laughs> is there much different to the book? I mean, kinda, like, but not really. It's still like the same story. There's just, it's just portrayed differently, but that happens. I, I'm cool with it. Do Noah and her end up together? What do you think? You're gonna have to wait and see. You're gonna have to watch the film. What was the best moment in this whole journey? Oh man, um, there's, there's like so many highs. Table waiting with my dad. That's the first thing that's come to mind. That was just such a great morning out. Night shoots, like I, I just stayed up like, I stayed up. I got, we got up to go to table waiting and then I stayed up till like gone dawn the next morning for the night shoot. Oh, it was too, too good. Seeing the cast, just seeing it come to life. Right now with all the build up and the excitement and everyone sort of sending me messages saying how excited they are to see it. That's Right now that's the best bit, is seeing everyone else so excited with me. I love this question. I'm gonna have to read it because it's quite a long one and I've got them up on my computer. How do you keep centered and you know, function like a normal human being amongst the craziness and excitement of your wildest dreams coming true? Um, so the other night, that when things got like really hectic because the trailer had come out I like I came in from work I didn't stop because I was just like glued to my phone and my laptop trying to like respond to everyone and share things about it and I was just so goddamn excited I couldn't help it and I got to like nine o'clock and I hadn't eaten anything I needed I had a cup of tea since I got in and I just felt so burned out right then that I took a shower I put my phone back on charge and I went and watched Prince of Egypt on Netflix and I've since then I've been working my way through all the DreamWorks films on Netflix. So right now I'm gonna go with that, that the way I'm staying centered is ending my day with a cartoon film. You know what, it's working for me right now, so I don't even care. Were you involved with any of the casting on the movie setup? So I answered the casting one earlier in this video, but with regards to the movie setup, no, again, like, they kind of picked where they were filming, I didn't have anything to do with that, and they, I was pretty happy with everything that I saw, so can't complain. Is the girl from Rona and Beezus? Yes, that's it. She's also in White House Day. She plays Channing Tatum's daughter. That's a great film. I can't get enough of that film. Will the movie be released on DVD? I don't really know how it works, but as far as I'm aware and from what I've been told, no, there is no DVD of the movie. I'm really sorry about that, but you can sign up for a free 30 day trial. And that alone has taken me about seven takes, free 30 day trial. Or you can try and watch it with your friends if they've got a Netflix account or ask someone in your family if you borrow their password for a little bit. Do you think the movie is quite similar to the book? Yeah. I'd say yeah, because like the story was just carried by the characters I felt and I feel like the characters have really come through. What's your favourite and least favourite thing that they changed in the movie? Well, did I have a least favourite thing? Because I liked it all. <laughs> well at least when I read the script I just loved every second of it. Most favourite thing though, okay I'm prom, prom, prom was my most favourite change and you guys are just gonna have to wait and see what that means. What was your reaction when you found out your book was going to be made into a movie? I just freaked out. I've been freaking out ever since. Okay, so the thing with it being made into a movie is that this has been going on for five years, okay? And we have, so we sold movie rights to comics back in 20, it must have been 2013, which is, like I was saying, five years ago. So we sold the movie rights and it was going to be made into a movie. Maybe. That's that's how optioning rights work. It's a maybe. I'll leave a link in the description to my blog post I wrote on how like it actually works from that side of things if you're interested. But th that's, that's the thing with optioning rights. It's a big maybe. It might never have happened and I had to kind of accept that right from the start. And then when Netflix came on board, like 
that was freaking exciting, I can tell you, but it was still, okay, well, I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't know, I, I just felt like I still didn't know. So it's only like this point now where it's gonna be released and I'm gonna see it and it's a thing that it feels a lot more real. Cause you know, people have been asking me for five years <laughs> about the movie and I've just been able to say like, I don't know, or it's gonna be a Netflix movie, but I don't know when it's coming out. So reaction is kind of hard to judge, but free, like, it's safe to say, freaking out. Are you happy with the actors bringing your characters to life? If not, who did you want to play them? I didn't know who I wanted to play them. I feel, I feel like I really would have sucked at choosing a cast. I am thrilled to pieces with the cast. I hope you guys are too. You're gonna have to let me know after you've watched it. Do Noah and Shelley argue and annoy each other as much as they do in the book? I feel like they do. I feel like they really do. Was The Kissing Booth the original title or were there other titles when you wrote it? Uh, no, the, it was the original title. I, I feel like I kind of suck at titles, but I started writing this book and I had to save it as a document on my computer and I thought, no, nah, I don't know what to call it. I just, there's the girl and her best friend and they're gonna do a kissing booth where she'll kiss Noah. I'll just call it The Kissing Booth. I'll know what I mean. And it never changed, so. <laughs> I feel like it's working pretty well as a title. What do you like to read in your free time? Right now it's a lot of Game of Thrones fanfic because we haven't got a season of Game of Thrones to watch this year. I'm really missing it. But also I read quite a lot of YA, as you can see here. And uh, buried away in that pile as well is also my copy of Snow Falling by Jane Gloriana Villanueva from Jane the Virgin. Like the book from the show, my friend got it for me, it's adorable. Is the kissing booth available for purchase in Canada? Yes, but it's currently out of stock I think. It'll be back soon, don't worry. It might even be back like by the time this vlog has gone up. You can at least though order it and it will be back in stock like very soon with the movie cover. Will you make a cameo in the movie? Is the movie everything you hope for? Yes, I make a cameo. I'm not gonna tell you guys where it is, when it is, what I look like in the scene. You're just gonna have to watch out for me very carefully. You have to let me know as well if you do find me and you do spot me in the film. And I will be posting like some behind the scenes pictures and where I've kind of got my outfit on from set and my cameo. Um, I'll be posting that after release. But in terms of is the movie everything I hope for, I will be able to answer this after I have seen it. <laughs> but judging from the trailer, yes. Oh my god, no, no, I take that back. It is not everything I hope for. It was way better. Like, I had high expectations for that trailer and it blew me out of the water. Wait, can I read this title? Amazon and Barnes and Noble do not have it. Again, it's out of stock. I'm really sorry, but we're bringing out the cover with like the movie poster on it, which is why it's out of stock at the minute. You can buy the ebook wherever you want to go buy ebooks, and there's links in the description again. If you want to order it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble, I'm assuming that's what BN means, Barnes and Noble. I'm really sorry if it's not. Or Waterstones, whatever other bookstore you like to buy your books from, you can go ahead and order it. It will be in very soon. I was told that it was going to be back in stock like the week ready for release. So I think it's coming out kind of release day, maybe, back in stock then. I don't even have my copy of it yet, so don't worry too much. But I noticed like Amazon UK says it's going to take about four to six weeks. It it like, I feel like it won't because it's coming back in stock next week and we know that. <laughs> what was the process of getting your book made into a movie? Did you get approached about it or did you try and get it made into a movie? I got approached, like, through the publisher, post in the description, you can go check it out and read all about it there. I was just wondering if you plan to do a Kissing Booth sequel. So, um, actually I had this question from loads of you and to be fair I've been getting this question from you guys since I finished the book about seven years ago. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. I'm making no promises. What was your favourite part of the book? Does he come alive in the film? So, as I said, time of filming, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm, okay, I'm filming it now because I have time right now and I've had to like, literally like, schedule my whole bank holiday weekend out um, around going home to watch the film and like, writing my blog post and sleeping <laughs> and like, doing laundry and grocery shopping. So, um, you're gonna have to forgive me for all the answers that I cannot give yet. But from what I saw on set and from the trailer and stuff, favourite part to see come alive in the film was the party where Elle goes up to Noah and asks him if he wants to do the kissing booth. Okay guys, I, I'm really conscious that this video might be quite long, I don't want to make it too long and rambly. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me questions, I'm really sorry if I didn't get around to answering yours in this video, but if you want I will try and do another Q&A vlog after the movie has come out so you can ask me some more questions when you've actually like seen it and stuff and those of you that haven't read the book have maybe read the book as well. I've been running a really exciting week over on my blog at the minute as well where I've been talking a lot about the process and just the movie in general so you can go check that out. Again all the links are in the description. You can go check me out on Twitter, I'm at Recalls, Instagram, all the Beth Recalls, I'll put 
a bunch of content on there and there will be much more exciting content coming on my Instagram after release when I can share some more like behind the scenes photos with you. So we're two days away from the movie now and I cannot wait. I'm really excited to watch it with some of my friends and I'm really excited for you guys to see it as well. I really, really wanna hear what you think of it when it is released. So if you think that you would like to see me do another one of these vlogs after it comes out, then like let me know in the comments because I'll have to start planning for that because it's all a bit hectic at the minute. And thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you again really soon.